Welcome to part three of Team Wild's Carnivore with me, Steve Wild. In this part, we finish off the three part series of how to butcher a red stag. But if you haven't seen parts one or two, click on the link now. Otherwise, stay tuned. Okay, we come to the haunches, which are the back legs. As you can see, that's where we took him off. Still see your, ver um, your spine there, your vertebrae, spinal cord there. Make an incision through the middle. So you've got to split the legs. Before you can start, you've got to split the legs. There's different ways of doing it, but this is the way I do it. So, you come to the middle, get your saw. Sort of doing like that, and then bring saw back, give him a little chop, and there we have it. Launches, they're in two. Right. right, first things first, there's a bit of flank there, I'm going to take that off. You can see where the seam is, where the seam runs to. Pull it down, comes to the top, a little flank there, take it off. As you can see, you've got the pelvis bone, which runs its entirety down there. You need to take this out in one, which I think we'll do, and then cut it from there. So, we're going to start at the top, you can see the bone because it is there, that's the end. And it runs from there down into and around to the point there. We're going to start at the point. We're going to be working it towards the bone. The knife will tell you which way to go because you'll feel the bone. It's like um, writing really. And once you know where you're going, it's easy. And follow it down. Just letting the knife should letting the knife work down the bone. And there's a joint as you've got in your hip joint, which is here. And just work this bit out as we come down. Just following the bone again. We just follow it right the way from the top to the bottom. And we haven't really done any massive cutting or anything else like that. So you can see where the joint the socket fits the ball in there and then there's a ligament in there which holds that bit to that bit so you don't fall apart when you're walking. So you're just going to put the knife in there, run the knife around, there you go, you can see the ligament that we've just cut there we saw how the joint opened up. Just keep following, just keep following the bone, keep following the bone. I'm just going to turn him around. Follow the bone again. And this is where we started, but we're working back to that point now. We'll come back on it. Like so. You can see that it's getting looser and looser. It's starting to come out. There's a little bit of a notch there. And that is the same on every animal that you work on. A little bit of a hook as you come around the pelvis bone. There you go. And just keep coming back. Just keep coming back. I'm going to take him out like that. And there we go. That's the pelvis bone gone. That's where we've come from. And that's where we've got to. So we've just taken the pelvis bone out. So we come to the front, just before the bone we're going to take this piece of meat off, we're trying to keep everything square, keep everything square we'll be fine. Come straight across there, like so. Now this, this piece of meat here, this is like your rump steak on cattle. 
cut a slice off and you'll see how nice that will look. There you go. Lovely bit of steak. There's two bones now in the haunch. There's the shin bone and there's the cannon bone which is like the femur which runs from there to there. You can see roughly where it is without making an incision or anything. So we're going to take the shin off. There's a joint. As you run your finger up and down, you can feel the joint. Put your knife in, take the shin off. Like so. Through the joint. And that's the shin off. Take the meat off the shin. You can see that as it comes down, there's a big long tendon there. We don't want that, but you can see the, shit, the meat that runs on the inside. We do want that. So just a cut down there, and then un take that off there. Quite simple. And then to debone it, as you can see, same as on the front shin, just follow it down. Follow it down. And she goes. And on the other side. There we go. That's a shin. Now, because it's a red deer, we cut the haunch differently than we would do a fallow deer or a roe deer or a muntjac for that case as well. The smaller species of deer, what we'd do, we'd take the bone out, the thema, and we'd um, roll it as one. But because the red is such a big animal, we're going to have to take it off in pieces, the different pieces, just as if you're boning a top of beef out, to get your top side, your silver side, and your bed of beef. So that's what we're going to do now. It's a bit, it's a bit more technical, but hopefully you'll be able to see where the different cuts come from, and um, it'll help you in some respects like that. But so that's what we're going to do. And this piece we're going to be taking off here is what we call the bed. The reason we call it the bed is because when the animal sat down or led down and asleep, he's led on it. So that's why we call it the bed. I'm just going to take that off. We've gone in. We've felt the bone there. I'm just going to run straight, we can see where we're going. I'm going to run straight down to there. You can see the bone there. I'm going to run underneath that bone. Feed him off until you see another piece of gristle, which is the muscle coming to the end and joining the next muscle, which is there. And if you were talking beef and everything else, and you go into the supermarket and you see silver side, the reason that silver side is called silver side is because of that piece of gristle there, because it looks silver. And that's why silver side got its name. Well, that's part of the whole top side of the animal. That's why silver side got its name. You can carve off that. It doesn't really need stringing up. What I would do, I'd put two strings around it, and I'd try and sell. I'd sell that as one joint, a nice joint like that. So we're back to the bone again now, and what we're going to do is take the top side off. We call the top side because it sat on top of everything else. It sat on top of the bed. It sat on top of the silver side. So therefore, top side. But very simple creatures or butchers. So we can see the, the bone. Same as normal, always cut in with your knife angled to the bone. Follow it round. And there we go. We've taken that out. And trim that up. And you've got your silver side and the top side. Open it up. You can see where they join together by a seam. Same seams that collect the blood in the shoulder. Same sort of thing. It's just where the muscles are separated. Just follow it down. Like so. And 
take it off. There we go. There's the top side. A little bit of trimming, take a little bit of the fat off. Top. There you go. You've got another lovely roasting joint there. Silver side, it's another solid, well, another solid muscle. It's got a piece of fat which sits in the middle of it, which you're just going to take out. I'm going to run that down there. Just take that out. Now we've got a piece of silver, a piece of gristle that runs down there, which is where it gets its name from. I'm going to take that off there. So, take this little bit of shin out of the top, so that's where the shin joins the leg, which makes it work. I'm going to put some string around that. There we go. And that's silver side. I'm going to just cut straight through the middle of the silver side. There you go, we've got two more beautiful racing joints like that. Right, that's the third instalment finished then. Um, we've butchered the deer, we've skinned him, and firstly we went and shot him. That's all three phases done. I hope you've enjoyed it, I hope you found it informative. As I always say to Ian, the easiest bit is pulling the trigger. That's when the work starts after that. Like I say, we've got the meat in the counter, we've had, um, we've had some good fun out stalking it, I had a harder time dressing it. We've had a good afternoon here butchering it up. So we all we need now is to sell it to the general public and we'll be laughing. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe to Team Wild TV for the best hunting, air gun, gear and tutorial videos on YouTube.